my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Nibs. I am Agatha Wimbledon, and today we have an ink review yet again. This is Winter Pastel Pink, or Julia, 1991. Very pretty color, very pretty pink. It's got shimmer in it. Yes. Okay, so this is by Vinta Inks. Comes in this 30 milliliter glass amber bottle. Very pretty. I spilled some upon the outside and now that label has beautiful chromatograph air. Oh dear, why is this not go do the thing? You, what on earth is this pig fucker? <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. Anyway, look, look, beautiful pastel blue and beautiful pink. Lovely color, lovely. Uh, I first received it in this sample vial from Van Ness. I have shaken it a slight amount in the picking of it up. And now you can see how green it is in the vial. But trust me, it is green, like Twisby pink. Green. Okay, so, you go there. Uh, let us start with the colour comparisons. I don't have any method to any of this madness. Okay, whoa, too far, too far. Okay, so here is today's ink. I don't have anything quite like it. Everything is very different. The closest, maybe, is Robert Oster Rose Gilt Tint. And this has like a silver pink shimmer. Very pretty, very pretty. They're not fun in a pen, though. That's unfortunate. Um, here's a Ferris wheel pressed strawberry macaron. Very much more peachy. This is very blue pink. Blue pink. It's like a Barbie pink but pastel. Yours, yours, yours. Here is a Twisby pink. Very much brighter. Very much so. Oh, that looks positively neon next to this one. <laughs> and here's Pen BBS Rose Quartz, which is very, very different in all ways, shapes, and forms. Okay, so that's all I have as far as that goes. No! Let us take a look at some of the water and bleach tests along with the little landscape watercolour goodiness. So here, here it is on watercolour paper. Oh my god, there we go. This is the bleach test here. It turned it kind of like a green, like a bluish green. Very interesting. I thought it would go away completely, but it has not looked at that shimmer. The shimmer particles in this ink appear to be darker than the base ink itself, so it tends to look a little bit dirty. Now, I apologize. I apologize. Nothing against this ink, but it does look a little dirty. See? See? Look at that. Looks like dirt, but there's no dirt. It's glitter. Glitter dirt. Woo! So there it is where I did the lines. And here is where I did a line with the water, and there are a few drops of water. Seems to take away a good portion of the colour, but it still remains. Look at that shimmer! Woo! And here's this one. Didn't get a whole lot of chromatography in this one. Got definitely some over here. You could see all the pink and the blue. Very, very nice. I like that glitter tree. It is very pleasant. Oh, goody. This glitter, this glitter. I wish the distribution was a little bit better. But that is a thing that can happen with these shimmer inks. And, oh, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, I don't know. Do I do this now? Do I do this now or do I wait? Okay. 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 So, hmm, I don't know which one to do it on. Let's do it on this one, because I care the least about it. So here's my finger. Almost all the shimmer that was piled up there has been not removed completely, 
but very much not as concentrated as it was. See? There, that. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You can't really see the difference there. That's a thing. It also happens on the papers. Speaking of. Oh, wait. Chromatography. We need that. Where? Um, I just. Eh, put it there. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Okay. So here's the normal one. Oops. Get in my hand. And I did things too. Allowed it to dry, etc. Ow! <laughs> I just stuck my finger with a glass nib. Glass nib! Dip nib! Anyway, so here's the glitter. It remained on the bottom as expected. And then it goes up into nothing, and then a pink, and then a kind of aqua colour up here. It's very nice, and in the middle is a bit of a pastel blue. And the exact same thing happened over here. This one just up, went up a little farther, so it's not as concentrated in the colour. Beautiful! Beautiful! Okay! Am I bleeding? Oh, a little bit. It's fine. If I get blood on the paper tests, it's not a big deal. So the pins I used. Pilot Metropolitan with a medium nib. They're nice and wet. This this pen, to my genuous surprise, was the best writing out of all of them. The most consistent, never clogged, always wet, nice and readable. Fascinating, fascinating. And then I used this pen BBS 267 with a broad Nemesi nib. Get over here, Mr. Cap friend. I should get a roll stop for that. And a pilot parallel in 1.5 millimeter. There you go. I've already cleaned it out of this and the pen BBS, um, so we won't be able to see it in that right now. Anyway, before, before I get to the paper test, I would like a spot of tea. Refreshing. Oh, delicious, delicious tea. Absolute staple in Norfolk Spiritshire. Okay. Claire Fontaine. 90 grams per square meter. Look at that shine. Beautiful, beautiful. I will try to hold it as still as I possibly can. We see a little bit of that dirtiness in the writing here. You see what I mean? Like in the Metropolitan and in here. where Everywhere there, where there's a concentration of glitter, it seems to look a little dirty. Now, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I like this better in its idea than in the execution, which is unfortunate. I very much enjoy it still, but it is not something that I would want to write with on a regular basis. Though it is surprisingly readable in that pilot metropolitan. Can you believe that? I would not expect a pastel ink to look very good out of a pilot metropolitan, but the Lady Rose video has proved me wrong on that. They're very nice, very pretty. No feathering, no spreading, none of that horrible stuff. Float pretty nicely out of all the nibs for this test. It took 20 seconds. 26 seconds to dry in the Pilot Medium, it took 22 in the Nemesine Broad, and 30 in the Pilot Parallel. There we have the smear, and you see everywhere the back of the nib stopped, there's like a deposit. These lines of glitter, I don't like that very much. But see, here we get, we, there we, oh, no, didn't, oh, okay, so I guess this is working out better on this paper than it normally does. Hooray! And here is the water test. I definitely did the water test. I am not trying to fool you. I'm not pulling the wool over your eyes. This has very good water resistance when you lay it on thickly. And there it is with the Pilot Metropolitan. This was done with the Pilot Parallel. And this was done with the Nemesine Broad. So it doesn't completely hang around, but it's not, it's not completely obliterated. Fascinating! And on the back... We have nothing but a little bit of like dirt from the glitter on the back of the other paper test. None of this is coming from the front. 
it's all it's all just on the back. So we'll probably see this on multiple papers, which is very unfortunate. Okay. No. I have moved this up in the lineup. This is Maruma Nemosine, 80 grams per square meter paper. I have nixed the Fabriano. It is not useful. Nobody uses it. No one told me that not to, 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 not to do it, but I'm not doing it anymore. It's too much paper. So I have replaced this at the end with my other favorite paper. Woo, irrelevant information. But look at this. I've got a little bit of a halo effect somewhere around there, a little bit. It's very pretty, very pretty. Oh, it looked so good on this paper. Oh, absolutely marvellous. Here we will compare. This is a bit of an off-white compared to the Clairefontaine. And it doesn't... It kind of neutralises some of the blue. Which is very nice. I appreciate that greatly. I don't like blue at all. So there... We don't get a whole lot of shimmer in the uh, Pilot Metropolitan, but it is very readable. Very readable, and you still get some. It's just nice dusting. We get quite a bit in that Nemesine Broad. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, oh, absolutely marvellous. 25 seconds to dry in the pilot, 27 seconds to dry in the Pin BBS, and 39 in the parallel. It's very wet ink. Look at those smears. Look at that one. Just whoosh. Whoosh! I had to do my scrubbing underneath because it was too far. And there we go. We don't get as many of the lines as we did on the Clairefontaine. It doesn't look quite as dirty, but still kind of dirty. Dirty ink. Ooh, look at... Anyway, water test. Did pretty well yet again. Uh, can't, you can't read it in these parts. Very well, but it kind of turned it a bit grey. This is very interesting. We did not see that in the chromatography. Not really. Let, let's let's take a look again. Nope, there's no grey behind that glitter. It is just glitter. Oh, marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. And on the back there's nothing except the stuff that transferred from the next paper test. Wonderful, wonderful. Next, we have Rhodia, 80 gram per square meter paper, and I did not like it on this paper. It was kind of a pain in the ass, But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not going to get upset about it. The shimmer is still beautiful. But the whiteness of the paper really brings out the blue again, and I'm not a fan. The glitter, on the other hand, absolutely stupendous, wonderfully marvellous. Oh, goody, 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 goody. It took 17 seconds to dry in the medium, 33 in the broad, and 30 in the 1.5. And look at that. We get a very nice blue halo around this this swatch here. Very interesting. Unfortunately, the glitter is very large and inconsistent, and I don't really like the way that looks in the parts where there's none. Blech. So then we have the water test. Very good when you lay it on thick. Not very good when you don't. And on the back, there's nothing. It looks like there may be a bit of echo here, but I'm not sure if that is real or not. There, it almost bleeds in the swatch. It tries to. It wants to, but it doesn't make it through to the other side. Definite ghosting in that part. Now... Tell me where river, cream, 68 gram per square meter. It's very nice, very nice. I don't know if, hmm, I still like it better on the Maruman paper. Very pretty, very pretty. Glitter kind of seemed to run all over the page with this one. You can see in those spots where there is no writing, there is quite a bit. Very shiny. Shiny! Yes! So it looks kind of dirty in certain spots wherever there's glitter and the light is not shining upon it. But it is, it's, it's a thing. It's fine. It's fine. We get some nice shading in that broad nib. Very pretty. 
and then we got some nice shading in the the 1.5 as well. It took 22 seconds to dry in the medium, 32 in the broad, and 33 in the 1.5. See that? That smear goes right across the page. Right across the page. I don't like this swatch at all whatsoever. No. No. Those chunks of glitter look like stupid, and I don't like them. I don't like it. Get it away. See? 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 You, now you see what I mean. Boom. Ha! Ah, let's put some over here. There we go. Beautiful. Now we have the water test. Did a pretty good when you lay it on thick. Not very good when you don't. And on the back, there's no, there's no ghosting. There's no bleed, of course. It doesn't even try to bleed through in the swatch. That's very nice. Maybe minimal ghosting, but that's about it. Here we have the 52 gram Tomoe River in white. Again, the paper doesn't seem to absorb the ink very well, so it just kind of smears the glitter all around the everything. Not very pleasant. However, in this writing here, it looks beautiful. Very beautiful. The whole page is just covered in glitter. So should you choose to light a retter, Light a letter. Write a letter to a friend with this ink. You must expect the glitter to transfer itself all over the page. You have 22 seconds to dry in the medium, 38 in the broad, and 39 in the 1.5. That swatch looks better than it did last time, but I still hate these. Let's get rid of them. Good. Very pretty. You know, the water tested. Um, bad. I mean, you could see it when you tilt it like that, a little bit, but it's still not very, not very readable, especially in these parts. And on the back, there's, there's nothing, there's a little bit of paper crinkling, and uh, almost trying to ghost, but it's not quite, not quite. Now we have the HP Premium 32 pound laser jet. I remember having some issues getting this to write on this paper, especially with the pilot parallel. I don't know what's going on there. So there we go. Glitter still looks kind of dirty. Not quite as much glitter all over the page, but it still kind of smears. In the broad, we don't get very much glitter at all. I don't know what's going on there. Very rude. But then here we get some shading. Nice shading. I like shading, especially in pastel inks. No, it's too much shimmer. It looks absolutely gross. Don't like it. It took 30 seconds to dry in the medium. 30 seconds! 30 seconds! That is close to how it was on the Tumor River. It took less time on the 68 gram than it did. That is very strange. I don't like it. It took 28 seconds to dry in the broad and 21 in the 1.5. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe the pen was writing a little bit too dry. And there, it's like it's fine. I don't mind this shimmer too much, but I don't like the amount of blue that's in this all over the page. Water test did very well when you lay it on thickly. Not very well when you don't, but it's still better than some of the other papers. There we go. I believe there's not just gold. It seems like there's also a bit of green. Very interesting. Very interesting. Now we have shitty 20 pound copy pepper. There we go. It spreads quite a bit. However, I don't notice very much feathering, if at all. Very interesting. Was not expecting that. This will work on absolutely garbage paper. It won't look very good. And like it still looks it looks extra dirty on this paper, but Hey, you get some nice shimmer. I mean, I think that there's a bit of feathering there. You see, a little tiny bit, but not very much. Way less than I was expecting. It spreads like the dickens. Still, still quite nice. I am genuinely surprised. It took three seconds to dry in the medium, three seconds to dry in the broad, and four seconds to dry in the parallel. Near instant dry times. Comparatively. Swatch looks disgusting. I, I like this part, though. That's surprising. It looks absolutely metallic. 
Very nice. Let's see, how does this one soak into the paper? Very well. Very well, comparatively. The water tested bad. Water always goes crazy bonkers cuckoo bananas upon this paper. Not very good. Glitter stays behind nicely, though. That's very interesting. And you even get good water results in this Pilot Metropolitan, but you don't in the broad, which is very interesting. On the back, we have little dots of bleed all the way, ghosting everywhere. That is very interesting. That color pink, very interesting, very interesting. We get some blue chromatography in there, too. But yes, bad performance on the back, good performance on the front. Hooray! No! For my favorite paper ever, Midori MD cotton paper, which may or may not be 68 grams per square meter. There we go, there we go, there we go. Looks marvelous on this paper. I love it. Wonderful writing experience. Got a bit of tooth to it, but not enough to make it seem scratchy or gross or anything like that. It's very nice. If you like a tactile writing experience, this will be quite your friend. I recommend it. So there we go. Look at all that beautiful shimmer. Shimmer distribution is very well on this paper. Absolutely marvelous. And the shading there, and the shading there, and the shading there. And oh, God, it's just so, so beautiful. It took 22 seconds to dry in the medium, 33 in the broad, and 53 in the parallel. I don't know what was going on there, but it took absolutely for fucking ever. Anyway, swatch looks pretty good. We, st we get more of that blue halo effect, especially around this. Very interesting. Very, and it seems like you get a lot of blue here. I don't know why that is, but it's a thing that happened. Interesting, interesting. Let's see, how well does this hold up to the finger test? Not very well, not very well. There is so much glitter upon me, I am going to put it everywhere. The water test did mm, not as good as it did on some other papers. However, however, look at these. Look at these. It turns grey. It doesn't disappear completely at all, except maybe in these parts, but you can still see it. This is the best water test so far. Except maybe for the twenty pound water twenty pound garbage paper, uh, maybe it did do a little bit worse than that. But still still, out of all the premium papers, here's the Clairefontaine. Look at that. Look at that. And this was left to dry for far longer than this was, because I am inconsistent. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. And on the back, we get a little bit of almost ghosting. This paper ghosts, but it doesn't really bleed, ever. I've never had a bleeding with this. Very fascinating. Yes, there we go. Absolutely marvellous. Marvellous. I love this paper. I cannot wait to write letters to all of my friends with it. Now, for a bit of a... Fun fact trivia thing, if you've stayed this long. <laughs> Winter Pastel Pink, or Julian 1991, is named for two characters in a television show called the Twins of Destiny. Or is it just Twins of Destiny? Something like that. But in the Tagalog language, which is of the Philippines... It's it's called Julio and Julia, and that's that's their names. But in the original French, it is Jules and Julia. Very interesting, very interesting. And 1991 refers to the date that it premiered. I have not seen anything but a few moments of the television series, but it looks very fun, very enjoyable, and that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Wonderful, very fascinating, lovely trivia bits. So thank you for joining me for this review today. This has been a long time coming for anybody who's spoken to me for longer than five minutes. Yes, look at that. Look at all of the beautiful glitter that is 
all over me. So goodbye, Punch Nazis. I love you. Bye.